Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to Islets, a game that has been recently released about a week or so ago for Nintendo Switch, I think Steam, and a couple other platforms as well. Essentially, it falls in the Metroidvania genre type of games, which is a genre that I do actually cover quite a lot on my channel, and I do want to thank the publishers uh, for actually getting a review code for this just because, um, yeah, this is a game that I really wanted to check out. And I love these types of games. All right, let's see here. Controls. Now, can you change these? Uh, you can. You actually can. Um, which you probably should, to be honest, because, oh my god. No, no, no. On the Switch, Metroidvanias have to be Y, Attack, B, Jump. Anything other than that is not good. So you should basically be changing this. Um, but this also means that, like, okay, so if I do Y, and then I set this to jump. Wait, hold on. I think I have to actually... There we go. Minus for that. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to change it to B. Hopefully it works out well like that. But then interact has to be, I guess, X. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go ahead and apply. Okay. So that should basically save, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh shoot, also now, um, I just now realized though. Yeah, because I actually mapped the controls, now Y is actually gonna be confirmed. That is the unfortunate thing, that it can happen sometimes. But, oh well. Gameplay. Speedrun mode off, controller rumble. I'm gonna actually set this to none because I do not like rumble in games usually. Let's do that. Graphics, I should be fine. Um, screen shake, I will put that to off. Usually people don't like that. It really throws people off. Uh, let's try this with on just to see how that looks. That's fine, and then back. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and start. All right, so enemies have standard attacks. Bosses have standard attack patterns. Difficulty can be changed any time. Okay, enemies have weaker attacks. Bosses have more simple attack patterns. And then, okay, we're gonna play a normal, like, that's usually the one that we do. So let's do this. Long, long ago. Five small islands float in the sky, aimlessly drifting to the wind's current. When one day, in unison, those five islands made contact. This land, which was once nearly inhospitable, now thrive as each of the five ecosystems balance each other perfectly. To prevent the islands from ever drifting apart, a large electromagnetic core was built deep within each island. As time passed, these cores were forgotten. Until one day, the islands were alone again. The lands became barren, beasts reigned, and life grew quiet. Each year, hundreds of aspiring warriors set out to discover these islands and reignite their course, hoping to make this land whole once again. Hey, Eco, how was life treating you up there? Have you slid any bees or saved any villages yet? I miss you back here. You know, if things were too tough out there and aren't working out, don't be afraid to come back home. We all miss you. Micah. Hey, Micah, it's great hearing from you. Fortunately, I haven't been very successful yet. It's really lonely up here. If I can't find a village to save soon, I might just come home. You know, I really thought it would... Wait, I really thought it would be a lot easier. Hey, Micah. Yeah, things are going great up here. I miss you all a lot. Hopefully next time you see me, I'll be a mighty warrior, Eco. Eco, is that you? I almost didn't see you in that tiny thing. How have you been? I haven't seen you since we graduated. Have you had any luck saving the world yet? Because I sure have. I've probably killed a hundred beasts and saved a dozen villages by now. 
They even gave me a nickname around these parts, Big Head. They must have recognized how smart I am. They said, that said, I do think nicknames are a bit juvenile, so I still prefer my legal name, Snoot. Once I find these islands, I should have them stitched together in no time. Well, anyways, be careful in that rickety old thing. You get caught in that jet stream of a superior aircraft like mine and that thing is toast. Well, see you around. And it happened. Wow. Of course it happened. Alright, so I'm here in the beginning. Grass Valley. So, we'll get some tutorials here. You can jump by, you know, pressing the B button or whatever button it's mapped on. We can't go over there, of course. That's, that's blocked off. That's unfortunate. Uh, there's not a whole lot we can do right now. We can roll, however. We have a little attack. I guess I shouldn't have wasted that. My bad. But yeah, you actually move really quickly in this game. Like, look at that. You Eventually, if you just keep running and running, you will actually move really fast. Now, this game does have the whole mechanic of holding it longer, jumping higher, tapping it, really small jump. Okay, so I can make it up. Can I make it up here? Probably. There's an item out there, but the thing is, though, to get that kind of booze, you need, um, you know, a big burst of speed. See, that will not actually work. You can attack with Y. You can also aim up to attack up like that if you want to. Uh, you can press minus, by the way, for the map. And you can always zoom in or, or zoom out, you know, if you want. Here's an attack, okay. That I can just do on enemies, basic attack pattern, you know. There's a nice little secret there. Wow, look at that. Lots of money. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, let's go up here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in these little areas there, but I mean, we'll eventually loop around and stuff. Okay, you can do L to dodge roll, that includes going through spikes. Here we can press X, game save, it's basically a save point, and it also replenishes yourself, so like if you just spam everything, I think, yeah, so it replenishes your inventory. To shoot arrows, press or hold R. You can only hold a limited number of arrows at a time. Your arrow supply is shown on top of your, your screen, underneath the health bar. Yeah, I've already talked about that. You can replenish your health by attacking enemies or using save points. Oh, okay, sure. Whoops. Yeah, so if you like, wait, can I actually attack this? No, you can't. Hmm, let's go back. Might as well. There's something we can get up there. Okay, so you basically do R and up. You get to shoot it. I didn't mean to hold it, my bad, I just wasted a bunch. Because if you hold the button, you will actually shoot a bunch. To view your map, press minus. If you're ever lost, make sure to check the map to find the nearest open path. You can also pause the game by pressing plus. Yeah, you can pause it like that. Cool. And there's minus for map. Is that something important down here? No. Sometimes I'm not sure which way you can actually break and what you can't, you know? Down in B, let's go this way though. Oh my god. Actually, I'm not really sure which way to go. Yeah, because you can drop through here, but... These two lead to two different areas, like, completely. Let me check out the right first. Hmm. I mean, it seems like they both might just lead to the same thing in the end. Yeah, now I'm over here. 
And that was from that side, which I would have come from more on the left over there, but let's see what's over here. Then. This is to, oh, look at that. Okay. So that comes back from that side up around. Hmm. Because you can't shoot it like that. That's interesting. There's a bridge and that collapses. Down in the water. I don't know if there was... Uh, probably not. I mean, these are like in regions. Hold on. Let me check out the right side really quick. No, see, it does lead to something else. It's just... Uh... Oh, wow. Here lies a former path between two islands, mercilessly torn apart. Ah, yes, we can't do much there. We'll have to uh, do that later once we get you know access to an ability or just something capability of you know being able to do that. That's part of the game. Putting those damn islands back together. Okay, so here we got like, it's the first like, it's not, a, it's not a boss, it's just regular enemies, you know? There we go, simple enough. You know those battle rooms, it's like a battle room, you know? I, I usually call them battle rooms. I don't know if that's what they're actually called. Shoot, I meant to go up like that. I'm already dying over here, man. Trying to see where I should possibly go, just because all these go to different locations and then I end up being lost. Let's see, because this area here. Hmm. Interesting. So I would have to basically cut. There we go. Got the item, and this here is pick an upgrade. Enemies drop more currency. Attacking three times quickly causes more damage. Increase arrow rate of fire. Hmm. I'm gonna pick. Uh, this is a difficult one. I'll go with that one. Upgrade applied. I don't think you can actually see your upgrades. I mean, unless I'm wrong about something, but you can see on the top right over there, but like you can't see what they actually are, is what I mean to say. Oh, you get to re just redo that if you want to. Huh. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, let's go to the left now. This, I think, may eventually loop in itself. Oh, yeah, well, this is just back. down this way, basically. Shoot. I'm, I'm close to death over here, this is not good. Yeah, I can keep going further down or I can go up there to the top. I'm just not sure which one is better to be doing. Hmm. I have to break that to get some more. Getting a lot of currency there. Yeah, I'll talk about the currency later. I don't want to spoil stuff, you know? Okay, can I actually, um... Hold on. I came in from... That side. That one goes down and around. Okay, so I actually can't even go over there. Never mind. I thought I, thought I could, but... That's not the case. Oh my god, almost hit me. There's a key right there. Yeah, you can't attack down though. So 
both of those. Let's do this for a save and a heal. Hold attack to skip. Grave Crawler. Okay, I don't know anything about these attack patterns, so we'll see what happens. Oh god. Alright, I see what you're trying to do. I mean, it's pretty easy. I guess I should kill your little buddies, huh? Might help a little bit. Oh god. Run. Let me kill your little friend here. Oh god. You it right on me. Oh no. I think it goes faster now or something. Oh, I see. Damn, that's only getting hit twice. These things do so much damage. Oh, I don't like these freaking birds. Go. Kill them. Want to die? Oh, what? I thought I. Damn it, man. Damn it, dude. Okay, well, we kind of got it. Let's get. I thought we kind of know what to do, you know? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. It's a good thing that I got that ability that actually ups my attack after a, you know, a rate of fire. Or, or a, attack rate, I should say, not rate of fire. That's more for like guns when you say that, but the third hit in a combo will do more damage. Jesus. What? I didn't kill you? You gotta be careful because attacks do a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage. Dude, I'm freaking dead again. God, see, it just very, you have to be very careful at all times because within a second, you can just die immediately. Like, it, it's crazy. Actually, it's pretty crazy. God, I need you to stop spawning enemies, dude. Barely dodge. Oh my god. It's hard. I mean, it's the first boss, and he's. God damn it, man. Come on. I'm trying to... Oh my god. I'm gonna freaking die. Nope. Nope. Stupid freaking duck. No! It's hard. It's hard. It's very hard. This is a normal mode. Again, this is not hard mode. This is normal mode. And it's already giving me a problem. It's just difficult because... Basically, I think in, if you get hit four times, you die. I'm pretty sure it's four. And like, my attack just isn't doing nearly enough damage yet, and I'm still very weak, of course. Gotta try, cause like, I would say be patient, but at the same time, certain attacks are very hard to avoid, and like, Kill this guy. Get out of the way, please. Oh my god, he's there. He's there. Kill him. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna wait for this. I think he does three on each side. No, four on each side. Five? He does five. Okay, I think I go there. Oh my god, dude. Whatever, I had to take a hit there. I didn't have a choice. I got cornered. Okay, watch that one. Come back over here. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. There we go. Got him. He's a tricky one. He is a tricky one. Wow. That's tough. But we did do it. Let's go back and, you know, heal up. Alright, what's over here? Anything? Oh, look, it's you. Is it gone yet? 
I've been on this island for three weeks now, and, I, and the moment I'm finally face to face with the beast, I run and hide. I wish I was brave enough to fight like that. But anyways, are you also here to reconnect these islands? I've been seeing so many other warriors around here lately trying to do the same, but so far no one has had much luck. I think a brave mouse like you has what it takes though. Only a strong warrior could defeat a big beast like that one. Well, I'll see you around. Sorry I wasn't able to help out. Maybe someday I can build up the courage. See ya. Um, okay, yeah, sure. What is this? You have gained the ability to jump again midair. Aha, the double jump, oh, yes, the iconic double jump. Ah, uh, there's a thing up there. Can't do that though. Wait, can I do anything else over here? Does this continue? No, it doesn't. It's funny, they gave you a double jump, but are they trying to tease you or trick you? You know, but you can't make it up there with a the double jump. I had as a teleporter. You can use it to move around the island a bit quicker. You can only teleport to teleporters you have already passed, and only if they are on the same island. This seems to be the first teleporter you've discovered, so it won't be very useful just yet. Yeah, I guess not. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's go back. Guess we'll do this again, sure, we'll save. Still can't attack downwards, so I'm gonna have to just leave that there for now. Until I get a certain ability. Alright, let's uh let's go this way then. Double jump should be able to, you know. Or not there, up here, sorry. In this area up here now we can go left. Yeah. Previously we couldn't, but now we can. And we are now in Spirit's Landing. Hello, you. Ah, uh, hello, little mouse. Are you lost? Lucky for you, I have all these islands mapped out already. If you make your way to this island's port, you can fly between islands and discover all there is to see. Okay. Didn't it help you on a Okay, cool. Wow. Hmm. Question mark to be your map press minus. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see here. So yeah, so you get to see some stuff there, you know. Now with there's a question mark there, and there's hmm. Okay. Well, sorry. I know I'm not talking much, but I was just um, just kind of looking around to see what because. I'm looking at the areas up there at the top, but I, I think, yeah, whatever, we'll, we don't need to go there yet. We'll just keep going this way for now, it's fine. Alright, so we can't go there. Kill that one. Here there's a couple ways. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can hit those at least. Is there anything up here? I don't think there is. I mean, there's. Oh, shoot. Oh, god damn it. I failed it. Wow. Let's kill them all. So far it's been, you know, a pretty, pretty mellow, you know, this whole playthrough. Oh my god. What is that? It's like a freaking spider. So god damn it, that's just, I should have used the arrow, because that's dickish placement, but like it's not the game trying to be a dick, you know, it's just, oh shoot. It's going to be tough. Yeah, it's not going to be easy to get through there, okay. Um, I need like a save point or something. The problem is that. Oh, 
shoot. Let's go down here if there's something. Press attack near grapple nose to perform a... okay. Oh, I see. Well, that didn't really... What the hell? Do I have to be like much lower or something? Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, I can do the double jump right there. Okay. We'll take this. Increase arrow fire rate. Release a powerful attack. At low, at low health, increase arrow ammo. I don't know which one would actually be at low health. Hmm. I'll go with this one. I mean, I haven't really been using arrows too much lately, but I know I should. Gra performing a grapple dash refills your double jump. Oh, really? I didn't actually know that. Well, now I know. And lucky for us, we made it to a save point. Nice. Okay, there's nothing over there. Let's... Oh, shoot. Okay, I see what you gotta do. I took a hit there, but like, oh well. Okay, I think I just unlocked a shortcut or something. Oh, that's what happens with those. Okay, I wasn't actually sure. Oh boy. At least we're breaking these things so we don't have to go through them. What the hell are you doing? Are you kidding me, dude? That is going to be something that can cause a lot of complications long term. Because you don't really get to choose if you want to use it or not. If you just press the attack button when you're near them, they'll automatically just stick to them and do the move. But anyway, I heard this forest was used to be, or this used to be underwater. Oh, really? I wonder if these spirits were alive back then. They don't mean any harm, but I wouldn't touch them anyway. Oh, like they will hurt you? Even though they mean no harm? Okay. God damn it, dude. I'm dying. It's not easy, man. There's a lot going on. What was over there, actually? There's a lot of ways to go, but I'm just not sure which one I should be going to. I guess I'll just drop down this way. Jesus Christ, that's... Oh my God, dude. I'm going, like, really far. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, my God. Um... Like, before I... I can go that way. Let me check out this side. This forest contains graves of every creature that's ever lived on these islands. Some of these graves are hundreds of years old. Okay, shut... I don't know if you actually get hit when you're in a cutscene. That would be horrible game design if that was the case, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Contains all the creatures who died on the islands. Uh, so sad, isn't it? Yeah. I guess so. I'm not really sure where I'm going, to be honest. I'm just kind of going wherever I see pathways and stuff. Like, there's possibly something to do. I just don't know. Um, no, there's really nothing here. I don't think there's any, like... No, I don't think so. Alright. What the hell? They're like in secret or something. Interesting. I just have to be very careful because I'm about to die.
Hmm. There's also down this way. At this point, a one seamless force meets its end. Oh, so that connects to another island once again. Hmm, okay. Oh my god, that was a really dumb move of me to do. I was supposed to kill the enemy before he jumped up. Thank god I managed to dodge him barely, but that would have been horrible on my end. Okay. I can't really see. Okay, we're fine. Um, I don't think there's anything down there either, so I'm just gonna jump across. Wait, so this I think just reconnected back to the other way because yeah, what the hell? That just went back to the same spot. Dude. Man, I can't wait to do more damage with this sword because right now it's like super weak and I can't really do all that much. The other thing too is that there was a safe one way over there, but I'm a little too far from it now to be able to... Oh god. Gotta kill him. Okay, let's go to the left now. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna kill these guys before I freaking open the thing. Okay, we're getting there. Somewhere, I don't know where the hell we're actually going, but... We'll see. Okay, I can't go down there. Battle room? With this little amount of health? Dude, there's like no way, man. What the f Oh, thank god I did it. I need a save room. Alright, that's a lot right there. Hmm. I, oh, well, I was going to say Ico. I think it's Eco. I don't know if it's Ico, but... Go. Funny running into you again. I saw your issue breaking apart in my rearview mirror when I was pulling away. You really should have listened to my advice and ditched that puny airship. But in the end, I really did you a favor. Without my help, you wouldn't have found this island. You'd still be flying around in that rickety death trap. A simple thank you would suffice. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, let's keep going. I think that was it for this room. I don't think there was anything else. Hopefully not. Oh my freaking god, dude! Well, what's the point of that though? If I do that, what is the point of that? Am I stupid to try it? I mean, they're all just gonna die immediately, though. Yeah, I don't really see the point of that. Just to get some free money, I guess? I don't know. I got some currency out of that. Hmm. I'm just being very careful. This one's gonna be hard. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna do that one there. There we go. Just beta like that, I guess. I suppose that works. There's a safe point right there. Finally. Oh, man. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. No, no, we're not going to take that, but that's cool that we got a warp there, you know? Now we can go back 
there if we need it to do it, we can. Oh my god. What the f- Yeah, we're definitely gonna heal up. I, I really want to see if, there, if there's like any upgrades that will give me more health and stuff too. Like that'd be really useful because at the moment, every hit I take is about a quarter, which means I can take four, uh, three hits. I would die into four. Generally, that's about what's happening. Maybe five on occasion, but I'm pretty sure it's generally four. What the hell? Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. Oh, I see what you got to do. Okay. Did it. That was not bad. What do I get? Ooh. Uh, killing enemies creates a small blast. It creates arrow ammo. We're gonna do this here because we're just upgrading basically anything related to sword stuff, you know, directly. We'll see. There's a laugh. I imagine that. Oh, shoot. I accidentally left. God damn it, dude. Yeah, you do go out of control sometimes, you know, you really do, though. Yeah, I imagine the blast actually hits other enemies nearby, I mean... Or else what would the point of it be, you know? Oh, God. Okay, we can only go that way, so we're gonna follow this thing. I guess. And then here, let's see, there's a pathway up there. And that one's closed off, so we can go either up or we can go back to the right. I, wait, what was that mark on the... Oh, no. Let's go right first, see what's over here. Okay. And there's this. I don't think we've been here either. I don't think so. Wait, actually... No, no, I don't think we have. But we came close somewhere here because that side reconnects to the other area. What's over here? This looks like something... That I can possibly do, but the problem here is that, um... I'm bumping my head, unfortunately. Oof, that's close. I don't think I can do it, though. It's just not enough height, unfortunately. What is this? Attempt time trial. Where am I going? Oh, I see. There we go, we did it. What I get? Another one of those abilities? Yep. Longer invincibility one hit. Enemies drop more current. Let's go with this one. I think we're gonna need that in the long term. The invincibility one seemed kinda cool. I thought about that one too, but I think we're okay. We'll get that one next time we like see it, possibly. Yeah, I don't know. There's definitely areas that I'm missing, you know? I haven't reconnected all the pathways. Wait a minute, so this just goes back that way. Oh, I see. Okay, so we do actually have to go that way then. It's kind of cool that I just reconnect that then because that does make things a little bit easier for like exploring. Whatever, I took a hit there, but who cares? Oh shoot. Okay, so this... Yeah, see, I've already been here. Uh, I just couldn't go that way before from the other side. I think it was a one-way broken thing, you know? You can only break it from one side. Pretty sure. Hmm. This one's gonna be a little tough. Okay, we did it. Oh, look at that. 
Luckily, it looks like the secret draw is just more currency, so not, you know, there's not anything... They're not too important, which is nice. I don't have to be, you know, attacking every single wall I come across. What's in here? What the hell? <laughs> I mean, he's awake. Oh. Okay, I don't know what the hell happened there, but increase or increase fire rate? We'll go with, yeah, we'll improve the ammo, I guess, sure. Looks like you can just keep attacking it if you want to. I don't see why you would want to. But, okay. Anything over here? Aha! <clears throat> Back in Grass Valley now. Yeah, so I was pretty sure this is where I started, but I couldn't go to the left because I didn't have the double jump, but now I do, so I can totally go this way now. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's go through there. Here's another warp. Yeah, I don't know if you have to examine them to activate them, but I just do it anyway. Just to be safe, you know? Yeah, I remember you. You're that mouse to save me from the beast. I realized I never increased myself before. I'm Graber. Your bravery really inspired me. I managed to trek all the way back here without hiding in a bush even once. Well, anyways, I wish I could repay you somehow for helping me back there. Oh, I know. You can use my airship if you'd like. I'm a bird, so I haven't really been using it anyways. It's not the best, but it should help you get around for now at least. Just hop into the airship and you can fly and discover new islands. Whenever you want to leave an island, just get back to the port and hop back in the airship. Alright. So you just press the X button here? Ready to leave? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, cool. North Stable Island. 48% map complete. Not bad, actually. Not bad. There are a lot of hidden stuff, however. Look at that. So, uh, now we're going to visit... Another island somewhere? Oh. I think we're blocked off by... Okay, we can only go up then. Let's go up. Guess we'll be going there later. Sky City. Oh, welcome. I can probably increase any of your desired stats. Oh! Oh, I like this. Arrowhead? It'll probably increase the strength of your arrows by one. We're gonna improve our sword. Let's do it. Great choice. Your melee attack has been permanently increased. And I guess you can just keep doing this until... There's eventually a limit, I imagine. Damn it, I can't improve my health, though. Shoot. Oh, well. We got twice before to get money, you know? Look at this guy, can I get you anything? What is this stuff here? But this, you can do all past save shrines and teleporters. I should probably do that, to be honest. But this, you can teleport from save shrines to any teleporter by holding down X. That's going to be useful for later on when I need to do more cleanup. But as you can see, any uncollected upgrades on your map. And that will, of course, be helpful late game for cleanup. We're going to do this for now. That does look like it makes a lot of sense to purchase now. Okay. What the hell is this? Would you like to open a post box and begin receiving mail? Price is... Sure? Your post box is now open. Make sure you check for any new, new uh, letters. Okay, cool. Have anything? Try to find the side of the post box. Now you can receive mail from me or anyone you meet. Just keep checking back whenever you pass one. Never you know what you're fine, huh? Every new one. Everyone back home knows you're going to make it big out there. We're all thinking of you. Hey, I've worked the confidence to battle my first beast. Well, it's not as big as... The beast you defeated, but it's a star. Oh my god. Another war message. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's pretty funny. You lost. I can mark your, your next destination on your map. We're not doing that, no. 
We like to explore anyway, you know, so we're fine, I think. What's up here? Anything? Oh, I can go from the left, okay. Hello, I'm Sky City's resident nurse. If you ever get injured while flying around, you'll end up back here. You mean like if you die? No, but I died plenty of times. I didn't get back sent back there. Wow, we go when I suggested you buy any earth, but I meant a good one like mine. Not a bucket. <laughs> okay. So there's left and the right. Um, I guess we'll just go right first. I don't know. Someday I'll open up a shop of my own here. I just need to figure out what to sell first. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Welcome to my ship shop. I sell and repair all types of airships. If you bring me two of those thingies, I can improve your airship. Okay, that's good to know as well. So that's like blocked off. That's blocked off as well. I'm not a real warrior yet, I'm still just a warrior in training, but someday I'll be the strongest warrior in disguise. Okay, let's go down. Can I look at a... Yeah, you can look at a map at least. Okay, yeah, see there is a areas over there to the top and right, but I can't do much there. We'll attack the skip. What the hell is this? What do we have here? Are you lost, little mouse? You know, it's dangerous being up here all by yourself. You never know who you'll run into. Sky Pirate. I don't think I should be over here yet. I can't even attack you, dude. Like, sorry about the freaking background noise. Um, you know, I don't have I don't have any attacks. Wait, but that actually what the hell? That's how you beat him? I guess you just dodge, you know? Freaking god, dude. This is gonna be hard. Maybe I should, um... What the freaking hell, dude? I don't think I need to be doing this yet? Uh-huh. Wait, that's that small red and white circle over your airship. That's your airship hitbox. Okay. Let's try left first. Let's see if I do need to go that way. I mean, if so, then I guess that's what I gotta do, but we'll see. Playing right, it's so relaxing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I can go down from this area here. Three great beasts. Well, actually, I can't go down. It's blocked. So, no, the way that I go is actually that way. But, oh my god, it just looked really hard. It looked, like, insanely hard. So, we'll try it again. But, I mean, it's a little hard without having any weapons of any sort. You just have to keep dodging, I think. I'm gonna hold. This is freaking ridiculous, dude. Yeah, so like they shoot the boomerang. But like, you have to dodge for like this much time? That sounds insane for a freaking second boss of the game. You know, like, oh my god. And then you also move pretty slow in the airship, so there's not really a whole lot you can do, you know? Those are the hardest, by the way. They are by far the hardest, like... So you have to make them hit themselves four times. Four times? No way, dude. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh my freaking god, dude. 
Do stop it! Oh my god. If I get hit one more time, I die. As long as he doesn't do a stupid. Okay, I guess I might be able to dodge. No, oh, he shot it right at me. What am I supposed to do to that? Come on. Come on. What the hell, dude? That's just BS. You're over here in freaking survival mode, dude, because you'll die in four hits. No matter what. Oh, do I have to go back to the island and grind up more currency to up my health? I may have to do that. Because this is, this is looking pretty insane. This is the hardest attack, by the way, to not get hit. And like, look at that. You just can't... No. No, no, no. I just don't understand how you how you can get through that freaking attack without taking a hit. Like, that looks impossible. God damn it, dude. Don't fire your stupid... God, man. I already got hit twice. This is not good. This is not good because... He's gonna fire his freaking thing again. Those, like, look at that shit, dude. No way. Like, it, it's one thing about having an ability to like deflect or something, but I don't. Like, I genuinely don't. Do I have to change this to easy mode? No way, man. Holy crap. This might be one of the hardest Metroidvanias I've ever played. It very well could be, and I got hit right there. Oh my God. I actually got lucky there, but the problem is that he's got another whole freaking phase, dude. Like, that's the easiest move to dodge, by the way. You just go up and down, but... Don't. Don't. Shoot your boomerang, shoot your boomerang. Boomerang! Crap! I'm dead. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I actually did it. Wait. Oh my god. I think I actually did it. That is really hard. Because it's just a matter of dodging. Like It's not really a boss. You're not really attacking. You know? Oh my god, we made it to Inverness Island. Jesus Christ. Jesus. We made it. I guess I'm going to end the video here. Wow. Wait, what does this do? Oh, shoot. Oh, I just like... Oh, I see. Alright. So before in this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.